I don't want people to think that you have to be a computer science major even though you don't want to be. If you are familiar with the channel, you'll know that I am a big fan of the computer science major as a whole, and back in college when I went to UCSD, my major was actually math with a specialization in computer science. But I think it's important to present the other argument as well. Computer science just isn't for everyone, and neither is any major really. So in what scenarios should people maybe not major in computer science, or what should people consider when thinking about majoring in computer science? As a quick disclaimer, this video isn't meant to diminish anyone who is currently a computer science major, or discourage people from becoming a computer science major. Trust me, I love computer science as a, as a field in general, but it's just to give an alternate perspective on the different paths you can take to potentially work in tech if that's something you want, and the alternate perspective on the realities of actually being a computer science major. So first off, if you love tech and want to work in tech, fortunately the industry as a whole has sort of moved away from everyone needing a computer science degree. So maybe if you're a current college student and computer science isn't particularly like what you like to study, but you want to work in tech, there are so many other fields that are open to you. And being a computer science major just may not be enticing to you. Majors like cognitive sciences, human computer interaction, data science, math, physics, electrical engineering, and the whole lot offer their own unique paths to working in tech. So don't feel pressured to just purely go down the computer science route if that's not really where your heart lies. By all means, if you like computer science, then be a computer science major, but again, this is just sort of to give reassurance to people that that's not the only route you can take. Another thing to consider is why do you want to be a computer science major? A lot of people are aware that currently software engineers and computer science majors in general have the highest earning potential out of college. And that is fantastic, but if you hate programming and you just hate computer science, no matter the money, you're just going to be miserable when you get a full-time job. But if you don't hate it, but you also maybe you don't love it currently, don't worry about that, because I was very much the same way. Early on in my college career, I liked computer science and programming, but I wasn't obsessed with it. And I bet every current college student knows at least someone who is absolutely obsessed with programming, you know, working every minute or every day on either a side project or leak coding or homework or just always grinding. Or maybe you are that person and more power to you. But I did notice later on in my college career that I actually started to get more interested in it, where I actually liked working on side projects and liked programming. And after working for Microsoft as a technical program manager for the last couple months and coding about five to six hours a day, I definitely have a new passion and appreciation for it. And I actually do like it more than I did in college. Now that could be based on a variety of different things and that could vary based on what you do and where you work and probably for the fact that I don't have to do programming assignments over the weekend. Basically what I wanna stress is that when you're considering what to major in, think about the why aspect. Additionally, just a realistic take of majoring in computer science and becoming a software engineer or technical program manager or any sort of technical field that involves coding, you will likely be coding for a large majority of the day and a large majority of the week. And for some that could be great, and for some that could not be so great. So as I mentioned, I'm a technical program manager at Microsoft and I code about five to six hours a day. And the other time in the day is either in meetings or doing more program manager oriented work. But fortunately, I learned to really enjoy that sort of problem solving aspect of it, as well as coding actually makes the time go by much faster. But sitting in front of a screen for eight plus hours a day, especially work from home being more isolated, it can definitely take a toll on you. And that's definitely something to consider when thinking about uh, your potential career prospects. Now, obviously this will vary again based on where you work and what you do, but that's just something to keep in mind. Lastly, college is unfortunately very expensive. Now, if you're watching this from a country where higher education is either free or highly discounted, I'm jealous. But for those of us in the States, Thinking about finances is definitely something you should do when just going to college in general. Going to university is a large financial commitment, and not only in the actual cost of attendance, but also in the opportunity cost of what you could have been doing while you were at university. Now this will vary greatly 
based on the person, their own personal finance situation, and the university itself, as well as the financial aid options that are available to you. But when you're in college, you want to make sure that you study something that's going to pay off in the future, unless you're just really rich, and then in that case, you study whatever you want, <laughs> sort of as an investment in yourself. Now, personally, I do think computer science and getting a computer science degree is a worthy investment, but just keep in mind that I'm saying that in retrospect. So I already have a full-time job working for a large tech company, so I can say, yes, spending all that money and spending those four years was worth it because I know where I am currently. So my perspective is sort of going to be skewed. So Maybe if things didn't work out like they did, I would have a different perspective. But unfortunately for me, I did take on a lot of student debt in order to pursue this sort of self-investment. If you are more curious about my actual loan payments and how much I spend in a month living in Seattle as a new grad, consider checking out my past video about where I go through all of that. In competition with universities and traditional college degrees, coding boot camps have been on the rise. And I get a lot of comments asking me about are coding boot camps worth it or should people check it out? And honestly, I don't really know. I personally don't know anyone that went through a coding boot camp, so I can't say from personal experience how well they actually pay off. I know Google recently announced their Google certificates that are meant to sort of replace college degrees, at least at Google in terms of qualifications but I don't really know how widely applicable that's going to be to other companies. But I do know that many large tech companies don't have specific degree requirements. In that sense, you have to sort of prove yourself in other ways, either through other internships or through side projects or just sort of proving that you have the sufficient base of knowledge. If you are interested in coding boot camps and not taking a more traditional route to becoming a software engineer, I wanna suggest two other tech YouTubers, Clement Mihalescu and Joshua Fluke, both went through coding boot camps and both had pretty good payoffs. But I do also want to mention that I believe they both went to college for other things. So I believe Clement went to UPenn for mathematics and then decided to get through a coding boot camp and then got positions at Google and Facebook. And I believe Joshua studied mechanical engineering and did that for a bit before going through a coding bootcamp. So they both transitioned from already having college degrees or having a base set of knowledge to then going through coding boot camps, so that could definitely sort of change the path. The reason I'm saying this is I just want to make sure that for you watching this video that you make the most financially smart decision for you. So if you're like, I love computer science and I want to code all day uh, and I want to go to college, do that. Literally do that and I'm sure it's going to pay off. And even if you're like, uh, I like coding, but I don't love it and, you know, my finances are okay in college, you know, continue down that road. But I'm just trying to present some other alternative routes to becoming a software engineer or working in tech in general so that everyone doesn't need to feel like they have to be a computer science major when they don't want to be. That's... That's what I guess I'm trying to stress is that I don't want people to think that you have to be a computer science major even though you don't want to be. That's kind of the purpose of this video. From my perspective, getting a computer science degree sort of ensures employers or gives a certain level of confidence to employers that you have at least some base knowledge. Like getting a computer science degree shows the employer that this person has done significant work in computer science, in mathematics, because they qualified to receive a degree from an accredited university. But that's just my opinion, and again, I'm not a recruiter, I'm not a hiring manager, so I can't really speak on that, but those are just sort of my thoughts, and maybe you can think about it too? But luckily in 2020 and in 2021, there are so many different routes to working in tech. And that's honestly one thing I love about the tech industry is that it can bring a lot of different perspectives. So maybe uh, you major in physics and then become a software engineer. So that software engineer will have probably a different problem solving approach to someone that just studied pure computer science, or maybe someone that studied human computer interaction. And 
sort of all of those interactions can really form great teams just in the tech industry as a whole. Again, my purpose for making this video is to present different perspectives on being a computer science major as well as the different paths people can take to work in tech. One last thing I do want to stress is a lot of the time in the comments I get things like, oh, I'm not sure if I wanna be a computer science major because I'm bad at it or I think that I'll be bad at it. Or people that like computer science and like programming but are fearful that they won't do well in college or that they feel that they're just not good at it currently. And I wanna to stress to those people that trust me, it will get better. My freshman year was a super rude awakening and I was so confused and so scared and I wasn't even just pure computer science, I was like split, I was math computer science. So. Trust me, if you like computer science and you like that problem solving and you like programming, please stick with it. It will get better. And I implore you to keep trying if the only reason that you're debating on whether you want to be a computer science major is just the fear of being good at it. And that goes for everything. Just keep trying. If the only thing that's holding you back is the fear that you're not going to be good at it, well, no one really starts off as a savant. Obviously, sometimes it comes easier to other people than others, but if you have enough dedication, anyone can pretty much get good at anything, at least in my opinion. I hope you liked the video and I gave you something to think about, about different paths to take working in tech or you know the realities of being a computer science major and working in tech as a whole comment down below any suggestions you guys have for future videos and what you thought of this one tell me if you guys are liking being a computer science major or maybe your reserves on becoming a computer science major now remember there's so many different paths that you can take uh, so being a computer science major isn't the only path you can take if you are curious about sort of new grad finances check out my past video where i do a pretty much deep dive into to literally every purchase I purchased, every every uh, everything I bought, everywhere my money went for the last month, I go through that as well as my loan payment and how I'm sort of tackling student loan debt. If you are curious about how I got into Microsoft, check out the video I made about that. Tune into some of my future videos. You can always count on bad British accents from your boy over here. And I hope you guys all have a lovely day. Bye bye.